What we're going to be doing today, we're going to be removing the crank arm connection that we have here on our 1200 semi recumbent bike. Um, this video would actually be useful as well for the 1110 semi foldable recumbent bike. And what we have here, we have our bike pretty much and set up to the point where we have the left crank here available. But this video would actually be useful for both sides, the left and the right. Uh, we will be demonstrating here how to remove the crank off this uh, bicycle here. And we have here our Phillip head screwdriver with the multi hex tool. And also we have here our crank removal, which it's a double sided tool. And I'll go step by step on this. So first of all, we have here our crank arm, which is being held together. It's covered by a circular plastic cover that could be removed with any flathead uh, screwdriver. Or we have here provided a flat surface, a flat surface on our crank removal. So we just go ahead and take that off. So then we have the plastic cover off. Next we will have the silver socket wrench part on here, which we will go ahead and connect to the frangie nut that's holding the crank arm together. We connect that together and we then unscrew that part till it comes off. So okay. Once you have the frangie nut that comes off, you could go ahead and then turn your um, crank removal tool which is a double-sided thread connection. You have a threaded connection on the black portion of this tool as well. And also notice that there's a crank, uh, the crank itself will have a threaded connection inside. So what you pretty much need to do is just connect the black threads on this side to the threads on the crank arm. So as I'm turning this to get it tighter on there so that it actually has a better connection on the crank. Sometimes it would be difficult for the crank to come off. So that is why it's required to be turned in there quite a few times. So once you actually feel that it's on there and it's pretty tight, you will then go ahead and use the silver portion and you will do the same thing by pushing, by actually by screwing this, the silver portion into the crank it's going to be inserting a leverage on there and it's going to be pushing the crank arm out. So then we will then go ahead and do this. So, and there it goes. Okay. And so then for the next step also, now that we have our crank off, uh, this video could actually be useful as well by replacing your plastic covers. Uh, sometimes there will be issues of speed sensor connections as well and we'll get to that in the video also. So by removing the crank arm you have a simpler way to remove the plastic covers. Um, please notice that it's actually uh, five screws on one side and the opposite side will be uh, using three screws. Uh, in order to go ahead and remove this here we will remove the nylon nut connection that we have here on the front stabilizer okay and then this cover here was pretty much already disassembled by us but I will show you how removing a couple other screws okay okay so that also shows you how to remove the plastic cover on your 1110 recumbent bike as well as a 1200.